Hey everybody, this is your review on TK Inter, which we're just going to go through everything real quickly before we move on to Django. So, TK Inter is the Python graphical user interface tool. There are other ones out there if you need, but this one is built in. It's really simple to get started. And we went through two simple applications, one which was a guessing game, and the other which allowed us to add and remove books from a database and list those in the app. So to get started, oh, by the way, there's a bunch of boring notes if you want to read them. But to get started, all you have to do is import TK enter and then call it like so and assign it to a variable. Anytime you're going to create different components for the user interface, you will need to pass in TK as an argument. So other code might use a different variable name, so it'll change all of the calls. You can modify the title by saying tk.title, and then you can start the application by saying main loop. That's going to keep it occupied, and anything after is not going to show up until the window is closed. So the first application we built was a random number guessing application. So we generated a random number like so. We created a function to check if the number was correct, so we pass in a guess. If it's correct, we do a message box. Otherwise, we add a label to the window, which works just fine. Anytime you want something to be displayed, you have to use this dot pack, which is one way of displaying data. There's also the grid option if you want to do a little bit more formatting. But like I said, I was just really focusing on functionality here. So this just adds it at the bottom of the application. The main components we talked about here are labels, which are text that show up on the screen, entries, which are text box that you can put values into, and buttons, which you can click to invoke something. We then built upon these principles to do a little bit more of a complex example, which was working with a list box. And the basis of the application was that we had two entries here and here, and two buttons. Whenever we click the buttons, a function was called add to list or delete from list. And taking a look at this, add to list is pretty simple. We actually have a good check here to see if the title is empty or the pages is empty. In that case, we just return, everything stays the same. Nothing was added to the list or added to the database. So you might wanna add that to your code. Now, at this point, you would have a decision to make. Do you want to display this data on the list like strings? Hey, that might work just fine, very simple. Or if you're heavily involved with working with objects that come from the database, you might just prefer to always be working in object form. Whatever you decide to do, that is totally up to you. We decided to create book objects because that's actually what's happening here at the beginning where we iterate through all of the data in the database and append those books to the list. Unfortunately, the list box is pretty weak in that it doesn't keep these objects. I'm pretty sure it just keeps the string representation, which is kind of dumb in my opinion, unless there's something I'm missing. But when you add an object in there, it gets the string representation and that's what shows up in the list. Then when you get that data back out, you just get that string representation and the object is lost. So in a way we're doing extra work to create that object, add it to the list just to be for it to be converted to a string. And then anytime you get that data back out, it's a string and you have to convert it back to an object. It's kind of like this weird conversion thing, but if you want to work with book objects and that's a step you might want to take. Basically my ideal here is anytime there are books in the database, we have those equivalent book objects inside of our code. Another cool thing here is that we're using tkinter.end instead of importing it directly. So that is another option if you don't want to import end. And that is used within a call to delete, which will clear out any text inputs. So we're clearing out the title and we're also clearing out the pages. So yeah, that is your conclusion of our section on TK Inter. Obviously we just scratched the surface. My goal here was just to give you a taste of another way of programming. And honestly, I don't do desktop applications a whole lot. Um, I pretty much do web applications or console applications. Desktop applications certainly have their purpose, but I think in general people prefer the API development 
with a web application, even if that web application is built in such a way that you can create a desktop application from it, that works too. But I think sole desktop applications are becoming less popular, definitely not obsolete, but not something I focus a whole lot of my energy on because I am rooted in web development. So I'm not so sure I'll be doing a TK Inter series anytime soon, but I guess we'll see. If you guys really like this, then maybe I'll try to get interested in it more. Otherwise, we're gonna move on to Django, which is the web development for Python. And we're gonna do a similar thing where we kind of just touch on a bunch of different things and get a very small scale application up and running. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited and I hope you are as well.